Hi, I'm Dylan Heck, and in today's tips and tricks video, we'll be going over an update to hole recognition in Esprit 2016. While legacy hole recognition still exists within Esprit, there are several cases where this would be inefficient compared to using the new hole feature recognition. Legacy hole recognition has limited selection capabilities and often requires more manual input to create holes not in active work planes. Upon opening the hole options page, you'll notice some large differences between the two. While still able to select diametric limits from elements in Esprit, there are additional options for hole opening, combining coaxial holes, propagating holes through, and using the active work plane. To use the new hole feature recognition, simply open up the dialog and select the solids, faces, or loops you would like to include in the recognition selection. This is necessary even if you have the active work plane set to yes. For the first selection, you can see that I'm using minimum hole opening angle, so we will only select holes that are larger than this hole angle. Solids can also be selected after opening hole feature recognition. Let's try this with the solid on the left. For this solid, it's important to make sure our settings are correct. When dealing with holes in multiple work planes, you want to make sure we change the active work plane only to no. This will allow us to choose holes outside of the active XY plane. For the solid in the center, we're going to select yes to combine coaxial holes and no for the active work plane only. This will allow us to combine the coaxial holes in a plane other than XY. The last two solids contain some more complex holes. We can recognize these with the settings inside of hole feature recognition. Let's take the maximum diameter of the large circle and make sure we have propagate hole to yes. Holes will be sorted by type, size, and plane they are in. Additionally, when you use hole feature recognition in Esprit 2016, you will notice that the name associates to the type of hole or p-top you are creating. That concludes today's tip video. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter to keep up to date with Esprit and the latest tips and tricks.